when you see Lorna Maseko on screen or stage, you would think that she has very little time to eat. Well, in truth, her appetite for life is matched by her love of Indian cooking, as Mela's guest reporter Vic Naidu discovered when he invited Lorna to lunch. Show Lorna Maseko a challenge and she'll tackle it head on. It's her magical mix of self-confidence, curiosity and sheer guts that has propelled her career from the ballet stage to the TV studio and exotic locations around the world. Lorna looks just as comfortable on the red carpet as she does on the ski slopes. Lorna Maseko is a presenter, ballerina and businesswoman. I would also describe her as beautiful, charming and sophisticated with a killer smile. She's recently expanded her portfolio into the food industry and I hear she loves Indian food just like me, so I've invited her on a hot date. Lorna's TV career has seen her host and produce shows ranging from international news and current affairs to the lifestyle magazine genre. And she's equally at home rubbing shoulders with socialites and reality show contestants. Hello! Hello, you beautiful woman. How are you? Great. Mm -hmm. So good to see you. Lono, I'm so intrigued by you, your beauty, you're the full package. Looks, intelligence, that smile. What gives you that extra edge? You know what? I don't think I necessarily have an extra edge. I think I'm just a workaholic. I love working, like it's the weirdest thing. Like I genuinely enjoy working. Like when I'm working, I'm like, I feel just so revitalized and so like I'm just fulfilling some kind of purpose. I think the fact that I was a, a ballet dancer and a ballet dancer at a time where no one even knew what the art form was or black girls weren't necessarily doing ballet perhaps gives me the edge. But I think also just the importance of just being myself. How did you get into ballet? In my primary school was a time when black kids could then go to like white school, so, so to speak. And um, we had a choice between ballet and karate. And I was like, oh, you know, I don't feel like doing karate. But let me just try this ballet thing out. And actually, I didn't even know anything about it. Like, I didn't even know what ballet was. It's not like I saw some ballerina. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be a ballet dancer, mommy. It was not like that at all. So um, it was a journey of discovery. And I was like, let me try ballet. My family didn't know it. I didn't know it. Lona, I was so surprised when I found out that you also cook. How did that happen? Have you always been cooking? You know what? I've always loved hosting people and cooking. But I think when I was on MasterChef, I feel like that sparked my love for cooking even more. Recently, you cooked on the main stage of the Good Food and Wine Show. How was that experience? It was probably one of the most terrifying things, considering that I was cooking with people like Siba, Brent Owen, Jenny Morris. And I'm just like this new beginner, you know? So, um, yeah, but I think, you know, the thing is I was like, do I try to do like a Heston Blumenthal dish? Or do I try to do like a, you know, like a Nigella type dish? And I was like, you know what, Lawrence, just do who you are. Like, just make something that you would do for your guests if they came to your home, um, your friends, your family. Don't try to be something you're not, you know? And um, yeah, it was quite an amazing experience. Lorna's ballet training and her vivacious personality enable her to project poise and confidence no matter whether she's on point in a tutu or casually dressed in an apron and jeans. But perhaps her greatest strength is being so comfortable about being herself and not trying to fool people with a facade. This was by no means the first time that Lorna had demonstrated her culinary skills in public because she has also joined other local celebs in an on-camera charity cook-off. She then did what comes so naturally to her by taking her passion for food and building on the foundation of the knowledge she developed. The end result saw her teaming up with her good friend Susan Gregg to create a highly successful cookery school event at the Charles Gregg Gardens called Cooking with Lorna and Friends. Essentially what Cooking with Lorna and Friends is about is the fact that guests come together, we have like cooking stations everywhere, as a chef teaches you things, you're actually cooking and learning and interacting with the food and learning about new produce, learning about new ingredients, how you can combine different ingredients, how to plate, how to save a failing dish, etc, etc. So that's basically what the event's about. I don't know about you, but all this talk of food has got me starving. I've asked the chef to arrange a variety of meals for us. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, chef. Very, yeah. Like what butter chicken curry is, combined to the salsa, tzatziki, and chutney, my pasmati rice. Yum. Enjoy. Thank you so much, chef. Thank you so much, chef. Thanks, chef Andres. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, wow. 
Whoa. Lorna, if you weren't a businesswoman, a ballerina, a presenter, what else would you be doing? I'd definitely be doing all those things that you've just called out because I made a promise to myself that I was only going to do things that I absolutely love. So everything that I do from my business to presenting to just the social things that I do are things that I absolutely love. But definitely one thing that has always been like nostalgic for me is just Bollywood and the culture and the movies. Like I could watch Bollywood films all day. Like my best time is at home, a glass of wine and a Bollywood film. But that's like prime for me. What are some of your favorite Bollywood movies? Kalhana Ho is definitely one. I know that. Love it. I love Def Dust. That's definitely, I think those are my top two. Do you know any of the songs from it? Everybody say, Kutsumi, da da da, Acha Mari Ve, da 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 da. So, can we hope to see Lorna appear in a Bollywood movie? Her fabulous dancing feet and champagne smile would be an asset to any item number. So, watch this space.